Hello YouTube, Sam here from youtube.com slash onlivegamer for the new Boston. In this tutorial, we're going to continue working on the paint program. Um, and you can find this in the book, Beginning Microsoft Visual Basic 2008, uh, by Theron Willis and Brian Newsom. Um, once again, I have to give credit to them for this. I'm just teaching you guys how to do it and going through the concepts. So if this doesn't look familiar to you, then you may want to move back and find the tutorial that you were just at. So we stopped right here um, on our select case graphics tool and we set object graphics items equal to object graphics circle so after we do that um, let's just go ahead and end our select because we don't need um, anything else um, it looks like it's already there so we'll go ahead and come down below and select so now what we need to do is just add that object to our array list. So we need to check if an item was actually returned. So if, well not returned, um, if it's set equal to something that isn't null. So if graphics items or um, object graphics item is not nothing then go ahead and do this. Now we're using a double negative here. So if it isn't nothing, or if it is something and not equal to null, then what we want to do is add that to our array list. So graphics items dot add, and we're going to add object graphics item. Let's see here. So you can see that um, it tells us right here that it is. It may give us an error at runtime, but it won't because it checks to see if it isn't nothing. So let's say um, a possible way of it not equaling anything. If it goes to the select case and we haven't used circle pin, then object graphics item is not going to be set equal to anything. So it'll run this if statement and check to see if it isn't any. If it is something, then it'll add it to the list, and this will prevent an error from happening. Now we could also do this by using uh, a try catch statement but this way works just as well too. So now what we need to do is type me.invalidate. You can see it says invalidates the specified region of the control, um, adds it to the controls update region which is the area that will be repainted at the next paint operation. So basically what this means is that we're telling the program that paint canvas has been uh, invalidated and that it needs to repaint itself. So it needs, to, it says something has changed we need to update and repaint paint canvas because we're in the paint canvas class right here so we invalidate it so that it will update our paint canvas control so now that we've created everything um, let's go ahead we'll come into our form one dot vb design and you can see that all we have to do is we can right click on view code and you can see that we don't have anything inside of class form one and we don't need anything. So we'll go ahead and run the program. Here's our paint VB. Looks like I was uh, missing some stuff there. So let's come over here to our paint canvas dot VB design and we need to click on the lightning bolt to bring up some events. So the first event that we're going to look for is mouse down. So if the user clicks their mouse down then what do we want to do? So let's see here, mouse down. So when the mouse is down, we're going to check to see what which mouse uh, they have, which button they have clicked. So if E dot button, so E is the event args, and it's a mouse event args. So with our mouse event args, we can check to see which button has been pressed. Now E can get a little confusing sometimes, and I completely understand if you don't fully, um, if you haven't fully grasped this yet. But later on, um, you'll start to pick it up, and it will come easier to you. So if e dot button equals mouse buttons dot left, then what do we want to do? Well, we want to call do mouse paint. A do mouse paint is going to take some arguments, so we're going to need a mouse event args. So you can see that paint canvas mount down mouse down already has um, a mouse event args in that it has been created when you click the mouse down. So we'll just pass 
e to that. So the e that we're passing to that is this e right here. Um, that happens when the person clicks their mouse down. So wherever their mouse clicks down, it's going to get the x position and the y position of this e right here um, that is in the sub uh, paint canvas mouse down. So if they move the mouse, then we also want to paint something. So we'll go to paint canvas.vb design and we want the mouse move event. So let's find it here. So we'll double click on mouse move and once again we need to create that if statement. So if e dot button is equal to mouse buttons dot left then what do we want to do? We want to do mouse paint and pass E to it. Now E is the mouse event args that happens whenever they click down. So when they move their mouse down, this E right here is going to get updated um, so you can access the X and the Y position of the mouse by using the event arguments. So when they, if they click down, it'll paint and if they move the mouse, it will paint as well. So hopefully everything is um, up and running now. So now if we try to run it, you can see we've got paint.vb. Okay, one more thing here. We need to come into paintcanvas.vb and we need to find the paint event. So under the paint event, um, basically what paint does is it runs and it repaints uh, the paint canvas. Now this is this may be a little confusing to you but when you have this graphics object right here um, or this paint event args um, what you can do is you can draw to your control. So whenever paint canvas is painted what we want to do is let's use a for each loop. So for each object graphics item as graphics item in graphics items we want to go ahead and draw that to the control so we'll type object graphics item dot draw and we'll do e dot graphics now um, we'll go ahead and run this and then I'll come back and explain this to you so here we have our paint VB and you can see that we can draw and it starts drawing on our circles and our lines. Now we've got this ugly flashing and we'll learn how to fix that um, in the next tutorial. So basically what this does is we have a for each loop. So it's going to go through each item in our graphics items array list. So for every circle that is created, um, it is in this graphics items and it has um, different values to it such as the X position and the Y position um, that it can use. So we've got for each for each of the objects in our array list of type graphics items what we want to do is use object graphics items dot draw and you can see here um, we have our draw um, it'll fill an ellipse um, at with the black brush and use the current rectangle. So it's going to draw that and it's going to use e dot graphics. So I've got e as paint event args, and all paint event args have a graphics um, that we can use to draw stuff to the control. So if you have any questions, uh, leave them in the comments. Um, once you've done, once you're done putting this code in, go ahead and move on to the next tutorial.